Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Chevy Boy back on the channel, and we are back on CSR Classics. So, <clears throat> I know the last video I did of this was Tuesday. Um, I apologize. I think it was Tuesday. Um, I apologize for not putting the video out either Wednesday or yesterday. Um, I don't know. I guess I just woke up later. I wasn't feeling it. I don't know. Um, but no, we're going to get into tier 5 now. So, I'm going to show you a car that I bought with gold. Um, actually got it like a discounted version of it. You know how they offer, they do the discount offers? So, hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that. I just turned my airplane mode on. Um, but yeah, no, so basically I got this car offered to me at a discount. And I bought some gold, and yeah, so. Basically, this is my tier five car. This is completely stock. This is a 1960, it's either a 67, 68, or 69, I can't tell, um, just because of the front end. But this is basically, a race car for the street. This is a Barracuda B029. So it's, it's essentially like um, a modern day drag back car or a Copo Camaro, right? And it's essentially what the Copo Camaro was back then was, was this. So this is a debadged car. You know, um, it, yeah, it's basically like a drag car built by Dodge, or built by Plymouth in this case, um, for race teams back in the 60s and 70s. So, let's see how much power this thing has stock. 535 horse, not bad. It's 2,150 pounds. Grip is not there, but it'll get there, and the gearbox is 525. Okay, cool. I want to baseline this. No, I'm not running against you. Oh, you know what, screw it. I'll do that. I'm gonna baseline this. What is it, a GT500? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Come on, baby. Dude, this thing hauls. Crazy. It actually goes almost as fast as my fully upgraded Challenger does. It's nuts. No, so originally what I wanted to do was I wanted to get not that, well, not necessarily this car, but what I wanted, not that car either. The Esprit would have been cool. But. You know, um, <laughs> the Mustang Boss 429, the Countach, that would be cool. You know, originally what I kind of wanted to get was this, a Pontiac Banshee, which you guys may go, holy crap, that looks like a vet. Well, basically it is a vet, but because, um, GM wouldn't allow Pontiac to build a sports car basically that overshadowed the Corvette this design never got made um, which is why I believe the Corvette the C3 style you know from 68 to 82 or something like that took inspiration from this I'm pretty sure but um, yeah no the Chevelle SS 454 that's a cool car it's a really nice car. I have one of those in Pro Street, actually. This Fairlane Thunderbolt was kind of the same thing, except it's, you know, it's a bigger car. The Roadrunner, the Mura, the, th the 33 St Stradale, Bleh. Stradale, if I can say it right. The SLR Coupe. That actually looks really cool. I thought it was a freaking 
Maserati for a second. Um, until I looked at it. You got the Grand Sport, which is the 63, I believe. You got the ZL1, which you're going, how in the world is there a Corvette ZL1? I thought that was specifically a Camaro thing. Well, back in the 60s, the ZL1 was an all-aluminum race 427 big block that made like, what? 510 horsepower yeah about that so that that's that's that whole deal uh this boss 429 cougar yeah because the cougar is basically a mustang but luxurious um no i really wanted dang it give me the super stock car gosh no yeah this is what i really wanted the super stock dodge dart but i couldn't get it so well, it didn't offer it to me. And you got the super stock AMX. This thing looks really red with the Kragers on it. Um, so, yeah. These are like steely, like NASCAR style steelies on it, almost. And this thing's got like a Lumistar 5 spoke wheels on it, but... I don't know. Um, so, yeah. I think we're going to do... Is what I'm gonna do surface rust. Road tires. So we've got premium road tires fitted. Wheels scored, yep. Sandblasted, soft compound sports tires fitted. So or not fitted, but that's what that is. Uh you know what? We'll rebuild the stock transmission. Lightened flywheel is the next one. New spark plug lead or er, spark plugs, distributor, everything. Nice, okay. And I am planning on building this car without using nitrous for a while, so. You guys are like, what do you mean you're not gonna use nitrous? I'm not using nitrous for a while. So, yeah, now if you want to freak, you can, but I'm not going to. Oh, dude, wow, it's 12 horsepower. That's pretty good. Uh, big bore custom made stainless steel. Yep. <laughs> Silencer's removed. So, yeah, it makes 606 horsepower, basically. No, so that's not too bad. Um. I could race this guy first. Dalton. I could race him. But no, yeah, so there's a little bit of uh, performance tuning. I don't know, I like it in the rusty kind of look. No, actually, um, they did an update to Marvel Future Fight the other day. Um, if any of you guys are still interested in seeing that game, um, let me know in the comments, those of you that watch this video. Um, because they brought in X-23, which is Wolverine's clone, but it's female clone, so, yeah. Um, those white flames look weird. Uh, the blue stripes. You know what? No, I gotta do a body upgrade first. Because I mean, I like the rusty look, but it's gotta go. Initial rust. Spare wheel cover room. Yeah, right? Yeah, spare wheel removed and proves Excel. $83,000. You know, you might as well just divide this by 10. And then you get the actual number. <laughs> Driving pride of the city. Right, okay. Whatever. Those flames are too weird. Bumblebee stripe. I don't know. I've actually never done a bumblebee stripe on my cars. Like, ever. I'm tempted. Three grand versus two grand. 
Screw it. Bumblebee stripe. There. And now... <laughs> Holy crap. Get 14 grand off of that, no way. It's crazy. You're a perfect test. Bye, Mira. <laughs> wow. Ten grand, not bad. Um But yeah, no, like I said, so I mean if you guys wanna see more of future fight, um I have enough of the Chaos Norn Stones to do both the Doctor Strange stuff and um open up more of the x-men missions so if you guys want to see that let me know any of you that actually watch this video because it would be open i would be open to doing more of that and i kind of want to see what x23 can do so yeah here's that 143 wow and it's a 544 what was my challenger at? 510. <laughs> this is way better stock than even my challenger. That's crazy. Oh man. So yeah, no, the baseline for this car was pretty good. A charger, huh? Nice. You know, have I ever said that I don't like taillights of the 6970 charger? Oh, excuse me. I don't know if you guys heard that or not. I apologize if you did. Um, yeah, no, I'm just not really a fan of the 69, 70 Charger taillights. I like the round circle, you know, quad circle taillights of the uh, 68, but that's just my opinion. And I also like the open grill of the 7, or the 68 and the 70. I don't know why, I just do. The two piece, like, split you know, nostrils type grill looks just weird to me. Which is why when I get Pro Street and make the General Mayhem for um, runner missions, I will be keeping the 68 style charger, tail lights, and the one piece grill. <coughs> So, Chevy, Corvette Stingray, ooh, yeah, no, see what I mean, they offer me tier 4 cars now, you know, I'll buy it later, that'll be a project, that'll be a project vehicle that I'm gonna get, is the Stingray, I gotta keep track of time here, cause I don't know when my ride will show up, so, I'm gonna make this about 15 minutes long. Oh crap. Completely went from first to third. That was a noob shift. It should like adversely affect me so hard. You know what I mean? Hold on. This was a 10 second car, right? You know what? No, no, no. I'm gonna go back. I wanna go back. I wanna. Cause it's a 10 second car right now, quite literally it's a 10 second car. I want to see what the baseline on this was. Cause this is a 10 second car. What was the baseline on this? I think it was 10 but I'm not sure. Make sure go back to look. It's hilarious how most of the cars 
Even with nitrous, they can't beat me. Oh man. 10.1. 10.5, that's all I get? I dropped 0.4 seconds. I mean, the nitrous would help, but. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Eight grand. Oh crap, I forgot to put the livery back on. I forgot to put the stripe back on. No! I felt like it glitched for some reason. Goodbye, Lotus. I'm not buying you. I mean, I might. It's gonna take me a lot to. I don't want to customize you. The red. <laughs> this looks dumb. I kind of like the two tone on that though. Green, yellow, orange. I like the white. I don't know why. I feel like blue and white just go better together. Okay. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's just letting me know that he was gonna get the bathtub, so. He works like a chip also. <laughs> um, yeah. 200k back. Nice. Awesome. Mm, I could do a crew challenge right now, but I don't know. 8,000. <laughs> 8 freaking thousand dollars. Good grief. No, when I get up into the higher uh, regulation races and stuff, I could probably just get like 12,000 a pop and then buy a car within two races, you know? So that'll be good. It'll be really fun. Um, again with the way early upshift, so I just went from second to or from first to third for crying out loud, like I skipped shifting. I don't know why I did that. Doing that for some reason. But yeah, no, like I said, and I can continue to say, um, if you guys want to see this stuff, you know, with more of like Doctor Strange and the X Men and um, the X23 stuff, let me know because I kind of want to cover some of that and I kind of want to get back in the future fight because I haven't done it, you know, forever. But, um, I don't know, so, but anyway, um, yeah, no, what do you guys think of this car? I actually think it looks really rad, so, I, I like it. Um, I wonder, can I keep the decal, but, like, lose, no, but lose some of the body? Like, let it rot again, basically. No, I can't keep it. That blows. <laughs> that blows. Um, but no, yeah, what do you guys think about this car? Like, I really think it's cool. I really enjoy it. Um, like I said, it was either going to be the Dart Super Stock that I would have gotten if they had offered it, or I would have gotten this, because they're basically the same car. Basically, you know, not the same car, but same weight, same power, roughly. So, but yeah, no. Um, if you guys did enjoy this, let me know, and I'll catch you down the road. This is Chevy Boy signing out. Peace, y'all.